EKU women's basketball laced them up at home for the first time in 2016, and the Colonels welcome in the Skyhawks of UT Martin. This would be the 50th meeting between the conference opponents. Eastern leads the series 30-19, but UTM has won 10 straight. First quarter and Coach Chrissy Roberts' squad comes out with some bop in their hop and jump out to an early four-point lead. Skyhawks would proceed to go on a 15-6 run and put the Colonels down five with less than a minute to play. Maple's looking for some place to go. Great lob to O'Bannon. One time on the deck and the finish. Eastern's down three. And in the closing seconds of the first quarter, threes are wild. Mariah Massengill, number three for Eastern, with three seconds left, drains a three, and we're knotted at 21. A 14-7 run in the second quarter would give UT Martin a nine-point advantage. Michaela Hunter goes high off the glass to cap a 6-0 run. Colonels down a field goal at the break. Third quarter, Skyhawks up eight. When Alexis Cooper cuts it to five as she knocks this down, Abby Wright with the reverse layup trims the deficit to three. And the freshman likes her wings in buckets. We're tied at 45. Fourth quarter, 50-47 UTM, and Miranda Maples knots it up. Hunter would drop a game-high eight assists. Here's one to O'Bannon doing some fancy work underneath. The junior notches another double-double with a 15-11 and night. Maples will hit this jumper to put EKU up three as she contributes 15. Polly Murray would turn it on in the final stanza. The senior had four points in the first half, and here she puts Eastern up six with two of her game-high 19. And for the first time since 2009, the Colonels beat the Skyhawks 70-61. Here's Murray after the game. It felt good. Uh, much respect to UT Martin. They came in our house, and they gave us a challenge. Um, our intensity was high. Uh, it was well needed, and we came out with a win. Uh, we got to keep the same mindset. Um, we know what type of team we are. We know the potential we got, and we got to play like that every night. EKU's next in action on the 9th when they host Southeast Missouri State. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.